supernatural favor to happen over our lives and family. We agree to every declaration you release today. Those that are in the line, would you lift up your envelope as I pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray you will bless and honor every seed and the sower, Lord. I pray and declare that as the seed being sown, whatever desire, purpose in their hearts that they have, I pray that you will bless it, God. It will grow. It will produce a bountiful harvest that will impact, Lord, their health, their finances, their family, their ministry, their work, their job. And it will bring greater glory to your name. Seal this, Lord, with your precious blood. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. One of the culture of our church is to speak and release blessing sa tanang mga kabataan. So this portion, akong gitawagan tanang mga kids. All the kids, please come over here. No, mga ginikanan, uyuan, ian, dalahain niyo mga kabataan. Matag Domingo, sa higayon sa serbisyo, kaning ang portion para ni sa ilaha. Aron ato silang madiklarahan o kinabuhi, madiklarahan ato mga positibo nga mga butang. Kaya nagtuo tanga kaning mga kabataan. Mao man ni ang mga sunod na to, mga leaders. As young as they are, no, let's make them familiar, let's make them aware of God's presence. Sa gawa sa panimalay, sa skwilahan, dagan siguro mga di maayong ang mga deklarasyon, ilang madawatan. No, as, as, as they live as a child, but we make sure nga dirisa sa simbahan na sila'y portion. No, okay, ato ang deklarahan sila kinabuhi o mga saad sa gino. All kids, ana inyong hand niyo, open your hands and close your eyes. And please, congregation, please stretch forth your hands towards this direction. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we join our faith together and as a man of God in this place, I speak life and, and abundance, Lord, and spirit of excellence to happen to every child that is in this place. Lord, I pray that you will make them the head and never the tail, above and never beneath, and declare, Lord, that no weapon of the enemy formed and forged against them that shall ever prosper. Salamat, ginosi mong gamhan ng kamot nga mamuhat sa ilang kinabuhi that these kids, God, will become the, the top Lord sa ilahang communities, lang skwelahan. Salamat, gino, that they will excel in whatever they do because of your favor that is working powerfully to their lives. Panalanginan po ni mo, gino, ilang panimalay, ilang ginikanan, ilang mga uyuan, mga guardians, Lord, that they will they will have the needs that they have. You will provide and meet generously, Lord, ang ilahang mga pagkinahanglan. Salamat nga puno ni mo sa gugma, kalinaw, kalipay, ang ilahang panimalay, that their hearts will be filled with greater joy, God. Labaw sa tanan, mapuno sa imuhang presensya. You are going to use these kids, God, for, for your greater glory. Bless them and keep them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Palakpangan nato si Lord sa mga bata nato. Natay kids church sa likod nato. You may also go sa to ang kids church department. Lift up your hands once again as we approach to the word of God today. Father, we thank you God for this opportunity once again to listen to your voice, to receive our portion to your word. Lord, I pray you will anoint God every hand being raised high. Lord, na may mga nagkadaiyang ang mga sitwasyon, but I pray today, God, for an open heavens, God, and start to pour out your grace, your love, your mercy, your very presence sa matag usang na akaron dirigino. Maski pa man, Lord, ang mga naa sa online, naminaw sa radio, nagtanaw, Lord, sa Facebook, YouTube, sa Zoom, even sa TikTok, 
TikTok, God. I just pray, God, that you will intervene. You will speak. You will touch them in a most personal and powerful way. Holy Spirit, amo kang gimbitahan, karong takna sa kagabihiyon, Lord. Move and manifest your presence in your own unique way. I pray, God, ang tanan nyo nagkinahanglag kalinaw, gino, makadawat sa inimuhang kalinaw, God. Ang tanan nagkinahanglan, gino, o paghigugma, imong presensya. Salamat, Lord, ng mga puno, ming tanan, God. Today, walay laing name, gino, among ginatuboy, ginabayaw, ginasimba. Kundi ang imong gamhanang pangalan lamang, Jesus. We love you, Daddy God. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Put your hands together to the Lord. Hallelujah. Please have your seat for a while. As you sit, ignay imong katapad, nalipay ko, kay naanapod ka karon. Shout out sa tanan natong mga online viewers. Palakpakan nato tanang mga online viewers nato from all over the world. No, ang network ni Nakjaja, Soar High Network, grabe ka mga dasig kaayo. And salamat kay Nakjaja for taking the lead sa tuang Zoom nato. And of course, no, sila uh, Naklala, ng Ivy sa Singapore, sila Atineng, Jocelyn sa sa Hong Kong, no, thank you kaayo and uh, si Dimple who started sa yang cell group niya sa Norway grabe ka maayo, amazing kaayo si Lord, palakpangan na to si Lord ni Ana, no of course uh, si Eileen sa Dubai, daghan kaayo all over the world, really the Lord is moving and working powerfully of course si Ayen sa, sa J Japan with Grace Ramel and uh, bago lang po nakagawa si connected sa tuwa sa CLC Luzon no, si Joven na karon sa sa Korea and uh, grabe nag-enjoy na sa snow dito but uh, really God is working in an amazing way no, naalang ta diri sa tagom pero ang pulong sa Ginoo ni abot sa bisag asang lugar ba no di ta kabalo ba sinay sunod na napunta dito no kitsay mo kuyog dito wala mo kuyog bala mo dia <laughs> no, but God really is an amazing God and um, by the way um Ako na lang i-announce daan or or i-shout out na lang ako daan no kay uh, third week third week of basta this month para para ma-sure lang niya nako this month if you are in Thailand Bangkok no we let's us have a meet up karong Marso and keep posted magkita-kita ta if you are followers sa Thailand na ka sa Thailand karon no unsa imo trabaho nag-unsa ka Kita-kita tadiha with Pastora Arlene. Now, let's have a coffee and chit-chat and we would love to pray for you personally. So, karong Marso, magkita-kita tadiha sa Thailand. Sa wadi ka. <laughs> practice lang, practice lang. <laughs> so, kung naan mo mga friends ninyo who is following with us also, please not tag and share them, remind them sa ito ang um, Meet Up Thailand. Kinsa gusto makuyog sa Thailand. No? Takabalo, mas kinsa yung buhaton sa ginoon dito. So basta kita, we just, we just, one of the series, we just take a leap of faith. No, mula kang lang manta. No, and then si Lord na yung bahala. Uh, when, we, when, we, when we started the digital, no, we just said yes, gidala ta sa ginoon sa Israel, and then now, nanay sell group sa Israel, na naay, naay giandam si Lord nga, yung saka dya, dya, nga, pirti ka passionate. Ito kay balo. No, unya na pod ang ang Scarstein family, no sila Andre, sila Dimple, yung mga anak si Teo, si Tea, nag-start na dia sa Norway. Unya human karon ni apil na nana pod si Twinks dito, mag-start sila na na sila sa group bisugan nila. Di ta kabalo kun dalahon ta sa Gino ug dili regardless basta ang pulong sa Gino ni abot ditong lugara. I mean, that's what matters most. No di man ta kaabot dito, pero at least ang pulong sa Gino ni abot sa ilaha dito. And lami kayo sa paminaw nga ang paggamit ni Lord sa tuwa, dili lang tadiri sa, sa four corners sa Tagum City. But God has really expanding us and there is an exceeding blessing that is happening. Kaya mawabay natin ang declaration sa 2024 that there is going to be an exceeding blessing that will happen in 2024. Uyugay mo exceed! Now, uh, this is our March. Once again, welcome sa tanan nga naadiri karon. Og ang mga naminaw sa Radio FM sa sa Go FM sa radio station, daghang salamat sa inyuhang pagpaminaw kini ang inyong higala sa kahanginan. <laughs> na salamat kay sa inyong pagpaminaw. And um, new month, new series and it's our series is entitled Taking a Leap. Everybody say Taking a Leap. 
na ginahanglan ta mo lakang. Kinahanglan natay aksyon natay lakangan, natay lakwan uban sa pagtuo. Nganong kinahanglan man when we talk about taking a leap, we're talking about building our faith in the Lord. No kay lisod, lisod pahimutan ang Ginoo. Lisod mga lagad sa Ginoo o lisod pahimutan ang Ginoo kung wala tay pagtuo. Kinahanglan tag pagtuo. If we are serving the Lord, we need faith. It takes faith. Ina mo katabad, build your faith. Kinahanglan atong maugmad, kinahanglan atong ma-develop, kinahanglan atong ma-strengthen, ma-deepen nato ang atong pagtuo sa Gino. Our faith has to take roots. No kay aron pag naay mga pagsulay, naay mga challenges, difficulties, mga trials, tribulations, terrible situations sa mahitabo sa tuwa, we will still standing in the word and by the grace of the Lord. Amen. Dili ka dali mapalid, dili ka dali mahagba kay lig-on man ang imuhang pagtuo diha sa Ginoo. Mao na ato ang gusto i- uh, mahitabo ang i-goal nato karong March as we continue unfold the the new month tibuok bulan lima ka semana, lima ka Domingo atong hisgutan mahitungod aning pagtuo. How are we going to build our faith stronger in the Lord? And our our text is found in Matthew chapter 14 verses 30 to 33. I'll be leaving uh, I'll be reading from the, new, the, the living Bible. It says here, but when he looked around at the high waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand and rescued him. O oh, man of faith, of little faith, Jesus said, why did you doubt me? And when, he, when they climbed up back in the boat, the wind stopped. The others sat there, awestruck. You are, you really are the Son of God, they exclaimed. Now, may God a blessing upon the reading of His Word this afternoon. Ang storya sa tuang pag-aisgutan ka, mo ang storya ni Pedro who were able to walk on water. I know some of us, many of us, have heard and familiar sa story ni Peter who walked on water. Now, there's more to that. Now, um, there are many preachings Nga, ako apong nawali, akong nadunggan, who really talk about how Peter walked on water. And there's no problem with that. Kaya lang, the amazing thing about the word of the Lord, mura siya jamante ba? Hindi lang siya, usalang ka, usalang katanawan ni mo, maula na iyang beauty. Every corner, there's a beauty to it. No, that's the word of the Lord. Maski pagkapila ni mo na basa-basahon, no, kapila na ni mo na nabasa, tibuk, tuig, every single time that you come across with that word, with that verse, there is always a new experience, new angle, new beauty. Tama ba? And this afternoon, mo na itong isgutan ka ron. The other side of that, no, atong i-excavate ang, ang pulong sa gino, and there will, there will be amazing things that we will do. Based on that passages, mo na itong isgutan. Sama sa giingon na ko, nga nung kinahanglan ta, mo tikang o dako diha sa pagtuo. No, let me start off aning quote na to that I bump into. Sometimes, we have to take a leap of faith and experience something before its meaning becomes apparent. Usahay, walay hinungdan, dili klaro ang kahulugan or ang ato ang tumoy nga nakitaan. Di, di hazy siguro. Siguro unclear. No, but many of us, labi na kita, as human as we are, gusto mago na to, to see is to believe. Pero si Lord lahi, when you believe, you will see. Amen? It takes faith. No, dili man gud maklaro dayon ang tanan, pero kung imo na kay gituuhan, naagyug kay dakong makitan. Muna sometimes sa tong kinabuhi, kinahanglan yug ka mo lakang sa pagtuo. Halimbawa sa imuhang negosyo, when you started a business, no, dili man dayon mahitabo dayon ang daghang ginansya that it will become profitable in ana dayon. No, there will be challenges. No, say maluya ka, makapoy ka, sa tanaw ni mo, tama ba niya kong desisyon? Mali man siguro. But when the, that moment comes, you have to take a little faith. A leap of faith. Now, di ni man pasabot na wala kay pagtuo, kaya lang sometimes, we lack of faith. No, in other words, we, we short, short na sa ito ang pagtuo na to. Kapos, kulang sayang atong pagtuo. And when that time comes, we tend to shrink back, we tend to give up, we tend to discontinue. Sayang naman yung hinanda ng Lord sa ating lahat. 
Now, listen to this. There are greater things God has in store for all of us, but we have to get ourselves ready to take a leap of faith in order to have it. Naidaghang mga giandam si Lord nga mas maayo pa, mas nindot, mas kahibulungan, mas powerful experience. Kaya lang, kinahanglan na to tikangan, lakangan, uban sa pagtuo. Aron atong madawatan. No, have you ever thought about this? Kung sakto ang imong pagtuo, karong 2024, as we continue to, to, to unravel and leave journey the 2024, napamanta sa Marso, mas muligo na nga itong pagtuo. Unsa kahang klasing tuig ang magkanaa ka kung naakay dakong pagtuo sa ginoo. Amen? Kaysa naman magsige lang kagduha-duha, sige lang kagkahadlok, sige lang kagpagduda. Definitely, ngilad ang imuhang tuig. And you might not able to make it. Why? Kaya tungod, wala man kayo pagtuo. Pero kung maugmad ang atong pagtuo, mudako atong magpagtuo na to. Because the Bible says, with faith, nothing shall be impossible with the Lord. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. So kung wala kayo pagtuo, magdisugod tag pahimuot sa ginoo. Dili mahimutan ang ginoo. Pero kung nakakaida kong pagtuo, no, sigurado ang mga imposible mahimong posible because God is going to make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen? So kinahanglan, di na ito paabuton nga mulurang ang panahon, muklaro na ang tanan, maskin pag murag dagom, murag gloomy, tikang, abanti, laban sa pagtuo until it gets clearer and clearer and clearer. Amen? That's what faith does to us. No? Now, there are things that we should do in order to take a leap of faith. Kinsay anda mulakang sa pagtuo. Amen. O lugay mo tabay na take a leap. No, kinahanglan na lahi-lahi. Taking a leap, it varies. No, it, it varies. Diri pare-pareho nga giant, gigantic step dayon ang imuhang kinahanglan. To some probably. No, to, to some. <laughs> to some. Ana siguro. To, gigantic siguro. Dago. That's a leap of faith. Pero ang uban, you have been too afraid. You have been too scared. You have been too hurt. You have been too wounded. And you don't have, you have been too weak to take even a single step. Basig ka ng gamayng lakang, baby step lang. Basig para sa imuha, that is a leap of faith already. It doesn't matter. So long as you put your one foot forward to the other, it will be all right. Amen? Mabito na ang series na ito, ganahan ko, isa sa itong bulan nga ganahan ko, pag-abot sa March. No, pag-abot sa March, diharam mo na akong ginadulaan nga series. Siyempre, March man. So, kinahalan ka mo March siya. No, abanti. Muna, kinahalan ka mo move forward. So, kinahalan mo, lain mo, but kayo, take a leap of faith niya, patras. Wala may ana, no? <laughs> Wala may ana. So, when you talk about taking a leap, abanti yun na. Tama ba? Ingin na yung katapad, abanti na. Taud-taud na ta na nga ungot sa itong kinabuhi ba? Tungod, daghang, daghang hinungdan. Nahadlo ka, kawaladon, katapulan, o kahuyang ni mo. But hey, God did not intend you to get stuck. Ang proof, Anna, the moment, the fact that you were able to wake up today, karong tak na sa ganihang buntag na kamata ka, masing karong hapon, kinagtagpilaw, munta ka, niya, murag ang imong hagok, wala nakatungas, pero nakamata gihapon ka, pasabot, Anna, wala pa na human si Lord sa imuha. Amen? He still has greater stuff in store for you. Kaya lang, kinahanglan, as we continue this year, 2024, we have to have a little faith. We have to take a leap of faith. Amen? Now, upat kabutang for us to consider. Unsao na to so that we are able to take a leap of faith. Number one, learn to let go. Everybody say, learn to let go. Na, diri lang mulit go pastor lisod bang kayo mo gani ana gani gibutang gani ako na gani ano sa may tawag na a, a, adjective adverb basta learn dapat atong katunan di man kinahawod na kadayon mo let go pero usahay man we are too attached but you have to learn you have to start you have to to try it out no katunan nimo sama sa pagbike dili man dayon magkatun ka nga mahawod na kadayon tama ba mahagba pa ka mapangos pa ka mirese 
Ang tadi ni mo kawato ng bike, magkat on, di ka magkat on. No, you have to take a risk. You have to take a leap of faith. Same thing, kung gusto ka magkat on, maglangoy, muagi ka lumos-lumos. Na wala may nakabalo mo langoy nga, wala hapit na lumos. Pero kung mahandlog ka malumos, di ka kamao mo langoy. Magdaan lang kagkabo. <laughs> Lain, sab. No, pero ka ng mga haud na mo langoy, kapila na hapit malumos ba? Pero nakatun, kaya mo na muna mag... Paningkawag, hindi ka malumos. Ano yung lutaw rapon? No, Anton, nakalangoy, nakamao rapon. It takes a leap of faith. Learn to let go. Kinahal ng kabalo ka mabuhi, na ay buhian. Kung gusto ka na ay layo nga maabtan, naapog kay andam nga biyaan. Amen? Kinsay gusto na ay layo nga maabtan. Nya andam na baka makatun mo biya. Ma, tulo na lang ni Amin. <laughs> No, ang uban, oh, ayaw lang. Murag ka ng background na ito, diba? Kinahal na yung buhian. Buhian ni mo. Para na kay dagkong buta nga madawatan. Amen? Ang pangutana, imo ba? Ingon si Lord, buhi i. Ingon ka, Lord, ako nang gibuhi. Buhi i, dili, buhi ah. <laughs> no, Baka mo na problema na ito, God. No. Ingon si Lord, buhi i na na. Lord, ako nang gibuhi. <laughs> no, buhi i. O yung gayong katabay na, buhi i. No, ayaw, buhi ah. Kaya maglisod, magkakabante. There are so much in our lives that had happened. Yes. Mura na siya, gano ba? Gusto kag mga bagong sanina. Pero yung abrin mo sa mga parador na puno tanag uranay. Di d'yo kakabuhi si mo uranay. Labi na tong naigisigisi sa ilok. Ano no? Nipis na kaayo. Makita na pati mong tinai. Ano, bitaw? <laughs> yung mama, hoy, trapo naman na. Mama, hoy, ganoon ko. Ano, paborito na ko ni. Paborito na ko ni. Paborito. Mo na maglisod kag buhi. Mo na maglisod og padala ang Ginoo. Mga bag-o nga mga butang. Kay nagsigi pa mga kupot sa mga karaan. Labi na yung mga uranay. Amen ba? Mo na inigabot og naay mga social events. Maglisod kag pangita sa mga parador. Hala wala koy sanina. Pero daggan kay naguot. Mubuto na gud ni mga parador. <laughs> Pero nga wala man koy sanina. Katray mo na. Kay ang imong sanina puro man nga karaan. Kay lagi attach man kay ka sa imong mga uranay. Ina mo katapad, ipanghatag na na. Napasuro, no, sayang kayo ni EDE auction. <laughs> I-garage sale. No, do something with it. Learn to let go. Kay og wala na na yung mga sanina. Siyempre, Lord, wala na yung sanina, Lord. Lord, andam na, Lord, punaan. Yung tanaw nyo, hala, bakanti na. So, si Lord, mapadalag, daghan na po mga bago. Pero kung nagpuno, nagtapunog na yung mga uranay, na what's yung bago mo abot sa iyo mga, kaya maguot man, mausik man. Nasabda ba na ito? Usahay mga sanina. Usahay mga kasing-kasing. No? Nangapun sa may nasa sulod sa mga kasing-kasing. Mga uranay po. No? Mga kalagot, kayugot, mga aligot-got sa imong kasing-kasing, naghuot, imong naong gamugot. <laughs> Pero minti na kita, wala mga tao. Ina yung katapad mo, ikaw lagi topic. <laughs> Buhiin na na. Good, good, tara na sa imong dughan. Oh. Learn to let go. Yaan mo na. Patawarin mo na sila. Na move on na. Na buhiin na. One thing I notice, the moment you forgive, sa diyang imong i-release ang kapasailuan, mawala po ang stress sa imong hunahuna. Kaya di naman kakahunahuna sa iya. Kaya imo naman siyang ipasailo. Pero guwapa ni mo sa ipasailo, magsigisig dula sa imong hunahuna. No, na na punyo. Makita ni mo sa Facebook. Oh, the next thing you know, imo nang stock iyang post. Ni naglagot kasi kagyaw-yaw. Kinsay lugi, ikaw. Ina mo katapad may rajud na kakaron. We have to understand that in order for us to reach somewhere, we have to live where we are at. Para naa kay layo nga maabtan, dapat naa kay andam nga biyaan. Amen? I'll prove you. I'll prove it to you. Nga nung naama mo diri karon, kay wala ma mo dito, no? <laughs> Tama, di ba? Naama mo diri, kay wala mo dito sa inyong balay. Kay inyong gibyaan ng inyong balay. Inyong gibyaan ng inyong mga iro, mga iring, mga hay, kahayupan ninyo. Na, mo na naka, na mo'y naabtan. Na, nakita ni mo? Simple analogy. Unsa kahay maabtan nimo sa 2024 kung imuhan ng biyaan ka ng imong pagkatapulan, pagkatsismusa, pagkahinawayon, 
pagka problemado, pagka critical, pagka ungo nimo. No. <laughs> Kung biyaan ka nimo na no? tanan nimo mga agud-agud, mga bato ba? Mura kag si Darna. Nang no, imo nang biyaan, no, unsa kay imo maabtan sa imuhang unahan? Amen. That's the reason many of us we were get stuck from where we are at in our past because we cannot let go of the things that happened in the past. No, wala mong guilaing, wala ilaing hinungdan ang kagahapon nga nahitabo eh. What is done is done. It is just but a memory. Pero ayaw sugot nga maura ni hinungdan nga maungot ka sa imong karon nga di ka kaabot sa imong kaugmaon. Uyuga imong katapan ina learn to let go. Somebody says, you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Dili ka na mulayag bitaw ka, dili ka makatabok sa pikas isla kung magsigi na kagyang pungad sa imuhang baybayon. No, usahay, ihatod ka na bitaw mo, mo lang yun ka, mo biyahe ka, tapos naa sila, kay sa barko mo, makita pa man mo na, sige, babay, babay, atawad, atawad, malayo na. You masad boy din ka no, masad girl din ka. Oo. Oh. Wala na, bye-bye. Ta human dagat na lang tanan yung makita. Wala, sad na kami, yung mga memories din, imo-imo na din ka no. Pero in a, a few moments later, inig atubang ni mo dito, na na po din isla mo dunggo ay naman. Na po yung mga nagkaway-kaway. Hey, ikaw na po ma-excite na po. Ka. That's the way it is. No, kinahanglan na dito kay buhian, where you are at, you might be hurt, you might be put to shame. No, ni sukarap man siguro ka, ni haybol man siguro ka, sirko, balintong siguro, imuhang nahitabo sa imong kinabuhi. Pero ignan ka, dili na ang imong final nga destinasyon. Na pa'y mas nindot nga kaugmaon nga giandam si Lord para sa imuha. Learn to let go! We have to take a leap of faith. You know, yes, in aning nahitabo ka ro, pero dili lang ni mao. No, babangon ako at dudurugin kita. No, ay, 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 dito ba akong sumbay? No, bangon okay na. <laughs> Tama nang babangon ako no, at magsisimulang muli. Kana ba, no? Di, ano naman ginang mahitabo? Wala man ka na mga negosyante nga nindot na nahitabo nila that they, they've been successful in their business. Dili man na sa yun. They started very hard, but they learned to let go of those hurt. Pila kabuk ang nag-close of door sa ilaha, nagkatawa, nagbinuang sa ilaha, no, nakaminus sa ilaha, but they did not stop. Amen ba? No, Colonel Sanders, pila kapultahan ang nisirado sa iya when he presented his recipe KFC. Pero he did not stop until one door had opened for him. Isa lang ka ka-opportunity, isa lang ka kapabor sa gino, and everything will turn around for your advantage. Come on, palakpakin ko si Lord. Ikaduha, for us to take a leap, dili lang ka makat on to let go, but also we have to eliminate doubt. Na dapat tanggalun na to atong pagka maduha duha on. Kaya sometimes, no, because of our doubt, Dua ta ka padayon. Nindot atong start, jump off na to, nindot kayo. Pero when you started to doubt, the next thing you would know, you will give up. No, because what doubt does to us, doubt makes you drown. When you started to doubt, the next thing you would know, you'll be drowning. You'll find yourself drowning. No, dili na ka magibab na lang kasi imong damgo ni mo malumos na sa baw. Sayang. Sayang, don't ever, ever doubt. Because when you are doubting, you are not trusting. In fact, you will start questioning. Kanang mga taong maduduhaon, dili na musalig. Isa na sa hinungdan nga, dili siya musalig. Wala na ipagsalig. And then magsige na na siya, sukit-sukit. Sige na nagpangutana. No? Halimbawa, mag-asawa. Nagduha-duha siya siyang asawa. O nga ni uli magkagsayo? wala din ni mo gihatod imo ang kirida pag muuli pag dugay o oh, imo pang gihatod no mo na nadugay ka <laughs> na, nakita ni mo wala gi lusot <laughs> kay ngano man nagduha-duha man wala trust nasabta na to and tanan questionon na dayon tanan pag remit sa sa sweldo nganong kanira man 
Gikwaan ni mo na si Mungkirina, no? Pag sobra po, ay, gitagaan na rin siguro ka, no? <laughs> si tanan, question nun, tanan. Kasi walay, walay trust, eh. Pag-abot ni mo di sa ginoo, nga nung mo hatag mo yung kag-tights, nga nung mo hatag mo yung opiring, grabe po na, nga nung pobre ba ang ginoo? Ah, dili man ka nihatag sa ginoo, para sa ginoo, pero gamito man sa simbahan, kaya nga nung man, wata nagbayad na Nico? <laughs> wata na nakakila ano, sa inchik? Di ba? Gunahuna ka na. Kaya alam lagi, wala man ka ni Salig. Nga, akong pautahan na ka rin. Ano sa kanina? Kadako di ay. <laughs> Bainti pa, sir. Bainti raman di ay. Saan aabot? Tugs, tugs, tugs. <laughs> I mean, come on. We started to question God. But the real issue there, because you doubted Him, you're not trusting Him. Amen. It's time for us to start trusting the Lord again. That's what happened to Peter in verse, in verse 31. No, so verse 31, instantly Jesus reached out his hand and rescued him. No, and he said, O man of little faith, Jesus said, Why did you doubt me? He was sinking the moment he's doubting. Because the moment gitawag siya ni Jesus, pag-ingon ni Peter, pag-ingon ni Jesus, it is me. Peter said, bid me to come. Panha ko, Lord. And Jesus said, come. And he started to take a leap of faith. He walked out from the boat and on the waters. And he was able to walk on water. Kaya lang, the scripture says, the moment he took his sight off from Jesus and considered the wind and the waves, he started to sink. Basta mawala ka rin focus ni mukhang Lord, definitely the moment you doubt, you lose sight of the Lord. Imo na yung tanahon ang mga balud sa kinabuhi, ang kusog, ha guru sa hangin, and you find yourself drowning. Nasabta na to? But the good thing is that, even if we're drowning, sangpit lang sa ginoo, gamita lang ang password, just like Peter, he said, Lord, save me. Instantly, Jesus reached out his hand. And the Lord not did some discipleship to him. Gidisciple siya dahil. And siya, oh man, kagamay pagtuo. Nga siya na, nga nung hidudahan man ko ni mo? No, nga nung nagduda man ka sa kuwa? Nga di na ko na kaya usabon ng imuhang kinabuhi? Nga di na ko kaya luwason ng imuhang tibok pamilya? Nga di na ko kaya by usabon ang dagan sa storya sa imuhang kinabuhi? That's what the Lord is telling all of us. Sometimes, no, sometimes si Pedro, usahay, ikaw o ako. We started to doubt the Lord. Kaya pa, may loon, saan na lang ako niya. Hala, di ka na kay Byron, mamatay na taan niya. Ah, patay da yun? <laughs> Nawantay no, pambayad ang pastor. Oh, wala yung pambayad, mamatay di da yun. Pwede, pwede maputlan sa kurinti. No, ano ba? Ayaw na Kasi lahi na itong huna-huna lagi da yun. No, we need to understand, doubting is never trusting. No, and listen to this. The moment we doubt, D-O-U-B-T, developing outrageous, ungodly, bad thoughts. That's doubting. When you doubt, you develop outrageous. Pat mo tayo patay da yun. Walay makaon, patay da yun. Di ba pwede pas mo sa? Di ba? No, mapas mo po mangkadaan. No, bago ka mamatay. Kaya lang, outrageous man yung muna-huna. And then, ungodly, sukwahi sa pulong sa ginoo. Kung sa mayingon sa pulong sa ginoo, man siya nalili by bread alone. But by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. So, mabuhi pa ka, masigwa pa kayo pagkaon. 40 days ganyan si Jesus ganyan, huwag kaong kaon. Mabuhi pa ka ba? Ikaw, isa lang kaadlaw, patay da yun. Nasabtan ba na to? And, bad. Ang resulta, negative thoughts, bad image. That's doubt. Developing outrageous, ungodly, bad thoughts. No, mo na mulunod jug ka, di jug ka kalutaw. We need to understand, we have to eliminate. That's why when Jesus was talking, discipling to Peter, he said, "Why did you doubt me?" He was dealing the doubt. Wala niya pansina. Wala niya giignan si Pedro nga ikaw hambugiro kay kamataan ka. Kasi ang issue dito di man ang pagka di man ang pagka una-unahon ni Pedro. No, in fact, Jesus saw it as more positive than negative. Kaya lang, in the middle of it, wala niya na pustro, wala niya na panindigan. Kasi right in the middle, he doubted. 
Murag sa tuwa ba, lison kayo, nagsugod ang bagong tuig nato Grabe na itong deklarasyon. Nag-first fruit pa ta. Lison, pagkabot sa Marso, no, magduha-duha na ka dahil Murag si Thomas ba, the doubting Thomas, na matay na si Isus, man, na banaw, nagpakita si Isus sa mga katawahan. Hangtod sa mga disciples. And it so happened na when he showed to the disciples, Thomas was not there. Nga, pag-abot ni Thomas, wala naman si Isus. Gignan siya, ah, grabe, buhi si Jesus. Ni si Jesus. Kabalong si Tumag ni Doubting Thomas. And siya na, motoo lang ko kung ako makita ang samad sa iyang kiliran o ang akong tudlo, masulod na ko sa buslot sa iyang mga palad. A week after, few moments after, I love how Jesus deal doubts. He showed up. Iyang gipakita, Thomas. Shucks, Thomas. Ah, ikaw ni Lord. Si Thomas, ituslok imong kamot sa buslot sa kong palad. Dali dong, kundi tamparusun ta karon. Wala 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 sige. <laughs> Ako lang ato. <laughs> Usay man gud kanimi ta mododo na mi kita tamparusun no. <laughs> Ay, kay gud lang ayo na jud ni. Eh ang uban man gud diyan na mo tu bitaw. <laughs> ah, tinuod gud. Hmm, karon pa kanito. Oh. No na just na buslot ning na kung kamot gid pa jud mo tu. Ay, da pugon ta karon. Na si Jesus o kung Jesus to murag matamparusan gud si Thomas. Na si Jesus man da buta na si Jesus. Na, hindi mo katapad, murag ikaw gin si Tomas ba? <laughs> Matamparusan juga <yung> sa ay. <laughs> na kayo maduha-duhaon kita. Dako ang plano ni Lord sa tuwa. Eh, unay plano ang ginoong. Ano yung animan? Ano yung, oh, kaya na tamparusan. <laughs> na, kung tinuog na ay gino, nga nung naamay COVID, ay kalimot ka na yawa po doon. <laughs> di ba? Na, nga nung namatay man ako, nga nung namatay man. Tao man ta, di man ta. Di ba? Napamatas kaliputan. Nya kusog pud ka mo kaog dinuguan. <laughs> no, di masamot, suicide na kadayon. Inuman pag ni mo cox. Patay. Imbis sa plano ni Lord si mo, awat kag 100 years old. No, pag edad ni mo 50, mura na kag 100 og naong. <laughs> di pa jud ka matog si pag ML dito. Di mo ugtas kag sayo. Nasabta ba na to? No, di jud ka mato. <laughs> I hope and I pray every time you started to doubt, inyong may imagine ang kamot ni Lord na ano, nako. Unsa man, ito slok ni mo, dapogon. <laughs> na sometimes kinang lang ta mamamata ba mahigmata ka. Ay, tinuod di ay. Jesus is alive. Ano man ang parusan ko. <laughs> Sa katotohanan ba. No. Eliminate doubt. Tell the person is eliminate doubt. <laughs> Isaiah 41. Isaiah 41 verse 10. Sabi rito, don't worry. I love that. Now, whenever you start to doubt, the Lord says, don't worry, I am with you. Now, siya na, ayaw kabalaka, ubanan taka. Don't be afraid, ayaw kahadlok, ako ang imong Diyos. I love that promise. Now, in, in other words, he's telling, I am your God. In other words, I'm in control. You may be out of control, somebody maybe is in control, but in reality, I still sit in the throne and I am in control. I am your God. And guess what? He said, I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand. That, unsa daw? Brings victory. Nakita ni mo na? Nakita ni mo kamot ni Lord? Unsa may? Nagod yung verse na kamot ni Lord ba? Ano sa man? <laughs> Pili. Musalig ka. <laughs> Marag ka namin tayo nasa Facebook nga. Mag, Magbinunalike now. <laughs> sa man, tuo ka, di wingi dyo ka. <laughs> tuo na lang. Hindi yung katapal mo, tuo na lang ta. <laughs> Masig mawingi pa ta ba? No? God is telling us, hey, my hand is with you. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. God is with us and He is our God. Pasabot, because He is God, He will make a way where there seems to be no way. When people go against you, don't worry. God is with you. Take a leap of faith. It's time for us to believe once again. Hallelujah. Unsa tong una? We have to learn to let go. Kaduha? Eliminate doubt. Ikatolo, we need to have audacity. We have to have audacity. Unsa maning audacity? Magulang sa audacize. 
Oda size, oda city, mangod sa oda otso. Mo na sa oda. Pang, pang bright mangod niya ko ang mga jokes. Mo na sorry kay dili ka kasabot ang ubana. Okay ra kay na ugma sa buntag mo lugdang na na. Ani tan-aw ni sa reply na to, ha? <laughs> Unsa man ning audacity? Audacity means a willingness to take bold risks. It's not just about ha- taking bold risks, but having willingness to take bold risk. Nakita niyo ba? When Jesus said, come to His disciples in the boat, there were 12 of them, but it was only Peter who was audacious enough to take the risk. Siya lang man ang willing. Nga man. Siya lang man ang nilakang. Siya lang ang willing. Ang uban, pag ni Lord, come. Ang uban, iling na lang, iling. <laughs> ah, dili lang, Lord. <laughs> Dele lang. <laughs> no, ni iling lang. Ini mo katabahan. Unsa man ka? Willing o iling? Mo nang wadagagwal. Na-miss na to ang fun. Na-miss na to ang opportunity. Peter walked on water because he was willing to take big risks. This 2024, if we are serious to experience exceeding blessing of the Lord, we have to be willing to take bold risks. Amen? In believing the Lord. Tuuhi ang ginoo. Nga gamiton ka sa ginoo para maluwas po ang uban. That's a bold risk. Be willing to open your house and let the word of the Lord stay in your house. And let those people around you who stayed in your house, in your establishment, listen to the word of God. That's a big risk. Amen? And you were able to see unsa kadako ang impact ng buhaton ni Lord when you are willing to take bold risks. Another meaning of audacity, shameless boldness. Shameless boldness. There's a story in the Bible that that woman who has a shameless faith, who was persistent, he, she suffered an injustice. Niad to siya sa unjust ruler. pag niya because he's crying out for justice. But every time, ato siya sa, sa, sa opisina, di mo siya ma-entertain, ato niya sa balay, si Isaac, Sir, tabangin ako, Sir. Saan niya, saan mo kayo? Atog pa mo, dali. Kapila niya, bahawa niya, hawa niya. Sa sunod niyang balik, hangtod niyo, Isaac, sa buka ng bayhana, pautan na namin si kinahanlan niya. Sige, sige na, tako niya, hindi na mo undang. Tanawa, even the unjust ruler who did not believe the Lord because she has a shameless, boldness, faith. In her, she received the answered prayer. Nakita ni mo? All we need to do is just have that shameless boldness. Take a leap of faith, being audacious, having that audacity. Maskin pag kapila na ka napalpa, kapila na ka, no, gusto na ka magbago, kapila na ka New Year's resolution. Pero wa, gihapoy, solusyon. <laughs> no? Pero sige lang, balik, gihapong ka, saka, gihapong ka diri sa third floor. Hallelujah. No, nagkaroon ko na una, ano, kasi kung siya isulti nila, pero sige lang, ang importante yung siya isulti ni Lord sa kuha. Amen? No, you by coming over here in third floor, that's being audacious. Another meaning sa audacious, sa Tagalog, kapalmuks. Kapalmuks. Ingin naman katapad, kapalan mo lang. No, that's, that's having audacious faith. No, kapalan mo lang ng mukha. Kinahanglan imong bagaan gamay imong naong. Bahala na unsa isulti sa uban, importante unsa isulti ni Lord sa kuha. The woman who was a prostitute when Jesus was invited in the house of Peter the Tanner, that woman came, dala-dala ang most expensive perfume. Pagsulod pa lang niya, iyahan nang gihugasan ang mga tiil ni Jesus sa mga luha ug iyang gitrapuhan sa mga buhok. People had something to say. Nga nung gitugutan man ni Jesus, kaigat man ang bayhanan na. No, makompromise man si Jesus, kung kailan na na si Jesus ay burikat man na. Dagan siguro mga mga resistance, mga tawag na, madunggan ni mo nga, nag-disapprove sa imuha, but you came anyway, just like that woman. She cried. And afterwards, iyahang gibubo ang iyahang, she broke her alabaster jar ang iyahang pinakamahalon nga perfume. And people again, every time may nasa ibuhaton, parang ang Lord, daghag disapproval ang crowd, daghag criticism. 
But she doesn't care anyway because she has an audacious faith. She came for Jesus anyway, not for anybody else. Amen? And no wonder Jesus approved her and her life was never the same again. Amen? It just takes an audacious faith. Sa imong pag-anian, hindi rin, sige, ingnan siguro ka nga, ah, simba-simba, yawa, gihapon kay ka, batasan ni mo di makaon sa ero. Ano? Pero sige lang, ingnan nyo ni mo, di mampug kumukaon. <laughs> no? Pero sige lang, si Lord, unsa may sulti ni Lord. That's what matters most. Unsay isulti ni Lord. Dili ang atuang isul- isulti sa tao sa tua. Amen ba? Let's be audacious this 2024. That is why in verse 32, Peter started to sing. He shouted Jesus, Lord, to Jesus, save me. That's having audacious faith. Acknowledging your fault and acknowledging His power in us, in our weaknesses. When he was drowning because he's doubting, he was calling to Jesus, Lord, save me. Basig mo na yung kinahanglan ka An audacious faith. The audacity that you need today probably is by calling Jesus help. Lord, help my marriage. Lord, help my job. Help me with my health. Help me with my life. I don't know kung sinahitabo sa mga, pero basig maunay kinahanglan ni mo so that you will able to experience God's miracle, miraculous presence. In verse 32, Peter, along with Jesus, came back to the boat. And then when they went back to the boat, the wind stopped. Watch this. Where was the audacity? Peter, who failed, he was able to walk on water, but doubt failed, but was able to manage to go back to the boat again. It takes an audacity para mo balik. Uban sa ato kay maulaw naman, di na lang mo balik kay nasipyat, nakasabaan. But it doesn't matter. Importante, kauban ni mo si Lord sa imong pagbalik. Amen. And when they reach to the boat, the wind stopped. My prayer and declaration, when you rise and have an audacity of faith, tanang unos sa kinabuhi, nganing tamparos sa imuhang kinabuhi, will stop in Jesus' name. Amen. Palakpakikusog si Lord. Bravery is the audacity to be unhindered by failures and walk with freedom, strength, and hope in the face of things unknown. In other words, in Tagalog man to, hubad niya sa audacity, no? Kapalmuks. Karon, pasabot, Ana, isa kami ning sa audacity, sa Bisaya, unpugungable. No, in yung katapad, you are unpugungable. No, if you have the audacity, you have the bravery, is the audacity that to be unhindered by failures. Di mapugnan sa bisang unsang kapakyasan. In other words, unpugungable. Amen? Na kapila man na pakyas, ala, bangon gihapon, no? Bagsak mo kasi exam, take na po! <laughs> Amen? Ang paso kayo, ang paso, hapit na na ba exam na mo? <laughs> Have the audacity of faith. Tuhi ang, tuhi ang ginoo. No, believe. Isa lang ka-take ni mo exam. Hallelujah. No, pasar na yun. Amen? That's my prayer. Tanan nga nag-take o exam. NCLEX, LET, licensure examination sa teacher. Tanang any form o exam. Na ay pabor sa gino. Passing result in Jesus' name. Amen? Pero pag-study po. <laughs> Kasi faith without work is dead. Ano na, pag naimong pampo sa ko, basta pampo ka na exam, nag-study ka, mga tanay, Diyo ko, nag-study ka, wala lagi pa, so, ayun nga na, pampo, baka, hindi mo dahil itong ampo, ampo lang. Ha, ba na ka nag-study? Ano sa may remind sa Holy Spirit, say mo. Ah, ka nang ampo, daong pastor, ka nang nakakita, ang tatay na yung makopya. <laughs> Listen, Paul. Ano? No, so we need to have that audacity to take actions in our faith. And lastly, ano sa itong una? Learn to let go. When we learn to let go and kaduha, eliminate doubt and have audacity, the result, we will experience sige na, powerful display of God's presence. 
Kinsay gusto makasinati sa powerful display sa presensya sa Gino. No, it takes a little faith. It takes a leap of faith. Leap of faith. Lakangi lang uban sa pagduo. No, in other words, the manifestation of your faith. Si David, he has that faith. He has the audacity of faith when he took the fight against Goliath. Kumpara ni mo dihado kay siya, pero he fought anyway. He has that audacious faith. Si Caleb, when he came, 85 years old si, Ka- si Caleb. Yang giduol si Joshua. Siya, Joshua, I am 85 years old now. Pero napakoy ligon sama sa 40 anyos. Give me that land. Ang iyang gipangayo, ang yuta nga naa ang kaliwat ni Goliath, the Anakites. Si David, isa lang ang napatay niya nga Goliath. Nga higante. Pero si Caleb, tibuok kaliwat sa mga higante, iyang gipuo. He was 85 years old. Pangutanan na yung katapay na, pila edad ni mo? <laughs> 85 na ganit siya, nakigbisog pa. Ikaw, grabe, 25 pa ganit, talawan gihapon kayo. Come on, it's time for us to have that faith so that we will able to see, experience the powerful display of God's presence. Amen? 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38 to 39. The fire came down from the Lord and burned the sacrifice, the wood, the stones, and the ground around the altar. Then it dried up all the water in the ditch. All the people saw this happen and bowed down to the ground and began saying, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. What is happening here? This is the time we're in Elijah challenged Ahab and Jezebel's prophet, 450 of them. Because Elijah was running for his life. He was hiding. Mahadlok siya kay patyunun siya ni Jezebel. But that moment, he had enough. He said to himself, I have learned to let go of the cave. Biaan niya ang iyang langub sa kahadlok. And he fought the fight. Nauna niya, mamatay mga po kumasig, tago-tago dito. At least, mamamatay akong lumalaban. Na, di ba? No, patay kung patay. He fought. Nagpakita siya ka King Ahab. Siya, King Ahab! Di na natin yung paduga yun. Pati yun mga po kunin nyo. Magkamatay na tang tanan. Isig kayo ba? So, sa may buhato niyo, tanan niyo ang propeta. Propeta mga buko sa gino. Naman kayo mga propeta. For 50 na sila nabuhok yung propeta. Let's have a duel. Nagbuhat silang showdown. Ang ginoo nga mutubag o kalayo, maoy tinood nga ginoo. Because he's got nothing to lose. Siya na lang isa na bilin. So all in, all out, sold out na si Elijah. And gipauna, bright kasi Elijah, gra- Elijah grabe. Gipauna ni, kamo una, for 50, mamo ka buhok. Sige, tawangin niyo na. Buntag, hantod, hapon. Wala mang gihabon. Nang siya, oh, humana mo? Ako yung ikapoy ninyo na. <laughs> sa pahuay sa mo. And he turned to the people said, Come on, on sa may tanaw ninyo. Magpapili pa mo ang away kalayo. It's time for you to believe in the Lord. And there were people who came to his side and believed in the Lord. And after the Bible says, he restored the altar, he filed up the woods and put on the sacrifice. Iya pang giingnan, basaan ninyong tubig, basi magduda mo. Humulig tubig, nagbutang siya ditch sa palibot, na humud og tubig tanan. And he cried out to the Lord, Lord, let these people know that you are the true God who answered by fire. And Lord, let them know that I am your true servant. Wala pag abot sa verse 38, then fire came down from the Lord. <sighs> oh, grabe, fire nation. Nag fire bending. <laughs> <laughs> si Firebender de si Elisha. <laughs> Dile, avatar si Elisha. <laughs> he master all the techniques. Grabe ba? And the Lord answer with fire and consume the sacrifice. Tanan. And guess what? Ang verse 39 mo ako kinaexcite ran. No, sa dihang ilaban ni mo when you take a leap of faith, mo abot ka dito sa last when you learn to let go biyaan ni mo ang langob ganiya si Pedro man to di ba ang baruto yang ibiyaan ini mo katapad na jud lagi kay dapat biyaan oh na jud kay dapat biyaan 
he get out from the cave and he did he eliminated doubt he believed strongly in the lord and he had that audacity and guess what the lord sent fire the powerful display of god's presence and the people saw kanang mga tao nga nagsigirag bagulbol sa imo sigirag kantsaw sigirag bugal-bugal sa imo ha makakita ra na sila sa resulta sa gahom sa Ginoo sa imong kinabuhi amen bugal-bugalan lang kang ah, simba na pud ka ah, mulampas na sa langit ana bahalag mulampas kay at least langit gihapon ang problema di kakaabot sa langit no Sig dai lang kanang mga tao bugal-bugal sa imo mo pa ni sunod bingon nga pwede ko makuyog gyud simba nimo Duo lang gyud sa imo pwede ko magpa-pray sa imo what is happening they saw the lord is moving powerfully over your life amen and they would say the lord is god murag katong ang kam pedro ang kauban niya dito ningon sila they were awestruck he is really the son of god Kasi nagduha-duha man pud sila. Posible ka samtang nangalagad ka, daghag nagtan-aw sa imuhang mga mata nga nagduha-duha. Ah, mayra nag primero, atik-atik ra na, magat-igat ra na diha sa CLC. Ngita ra nag uyab-uyab tan-awa na ro, tan-awa, tan-awa. No, but when you have that audacity ng Lord, dili ko mag-uyab-uyab. Magminyo na jud ni Lord, dili ni uyab-uyab, minyo na dis. <laughs> <laughs> people will start to see what the Lord has done. Can say excited will take a leap of faith in 2024. Come on, stand up to your feet today. Let me leave you with this, with this phrase. Wherever Jesus may lead us, He goes before us. If we don't know where we're going, we know with whom we go. That's what Charles Spurgeon says. Na, pagyahan ka ni Jesus, dili ka niya pabayaan. Amen? Muabot man ang higayon, nga di ka kasabot, asa ka padulong, ang importante, kabalo ka, kauban ni mo si Jesus. Amen? All we need today is Jesus. When Peter took a leap of faith, he knew that it was Jesus. When he went back to the boat, he went back with Jesus. Bisan pag unsa kadako imong baroto. Bisa pag unsa ka maayo imong abilidad. Kahawud imong utok mo diskarte. Pero wala kauban ni mo si Kristo sa imong kinabuhi. That ship is bound to sink. Are you getting me? Just like Elijah. Bisa pag unsa ka strong fortress ang iyahang langob nga gitaguan but he knew kung wala siya giubanan ni Jesus he will be dead in a matter of time this afternoon this evening church god is inviting us when he was telling jesus telling to peter come he's not only telling and inviting peter but the other 12 as well and you and i is being invited also to come He's inviting us to come. In other words, to be with Him. To experience Him in relationship with Him. So long as we are with Jesus, everything will be alright. Amen? Basig mo na yung kinahanglan ka na audacity sa mo ang faith ni mo. To call on the name of Jesus and say, God, save me. Lord, I'm sorry. God, come into my marriage. Come into my business. Come into my studies. Lord, come into my campus. Come into my life. Come into this relationship. Can we lift up our hands higher to God today? Those that are watching us online, would you please pause for a while and have this moment. Allow the Lord to minister to you wherever you are. Just pour out your heart to the Lord. Those that are listening to us at radio station, no, pause lang sa kadiyot. Paminaw, tuguti ang presensya sa ginoong ang mamuhat sa imuha this is about you and the Lord tonight you and the Lord tonight come on open up your lips to the Lord and start to cry out Lord save me Lord save my marriage 
God, save my family. Lord, save my parents. Save my children. Save my future. Save my health. Cry out to the Lord tonight. Continue to lift up your hands higher tonight. Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for your great love for me. Today, God, I open up my heart. And I invite you to please come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. Please forgive me for all the sins that I have done. Tonight, Lord, I put my whole trust in you. Please help me and walk with me so that I will be able to live this life bringing glory to your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of eternal life that I receive tonight in Jesus' name. Allow me to say a word of prayer for all. Father, I pray, God, that you will seal the word that we receive with your precious blood. Salamat ginoo sa dako nimo ng oportunidad ng gihatag ka namo. And we say, yes, God, we're going to take a leap of faith beginning today. Lord, amo kang tuuhan, amo kang saligan. We're going to trust and believe in you all the way. Lord, I pray, God, that you will sustain, you will supply and support strength to every person in this place. And those that are watching us online, God. Lord, salamat ginoo for the divine, supernatural help that is coming our way in the name of Jesus. Lord, salamat ginoo for the powerful display of your manifest presence sa matagsat ng kinabuhi ng naakaroon ginoo. Tanang dungog, himaya, kadungganan, kanimo lamang Jesus sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. O amen. O amen. Palakpakan na to si Lord Kusog. Every first Sunday of the month, it's our communion Sunday. Can we have the lights on, please? We always commemorate what Christ has done on the cross of Calvary, where He died, He bled, He shed His life to all of us, that we might be saved, healed, and changed by His blood. So na tay mga communion elements at ubangan o na puta sa likod, na puta mga ushers na to that will guide us para mas orderly ang ato ang mahaluna ang ato ang pagkuha. As our worship team will lead us in worship, please have your way. Take your portions. 
Sabay-sabay na to karon. I partake tanan. Come on, let's just worship the Lord today. That's how special you are to Him. You are the apple of God's eyes. He died on the cross. He came to this earth just for you and I. Starting today, have that understanding that the Lord loves you so much. He loves you and you are precious in His sight. This evening, has anyone been served? Tanan ba nanay communion elements? Kung wala pa kay communion elements and should you wish to participate tonight, you may raise your hand so that our ushers will be able to guide you and give you one. If everyone has been served, let's hold up our communion elements. For I received from the Lord what I also pass on to you the night 
the Lord Jesus on the night he was betrayed he took bread let's raise up the bread and when when he had given thanks he broke it and said this is my body do this which is for you do this in remembrance of me let us pray father thank you for sending your son Jesus here on earth and Lord Jesus thank you for dying on the cross in our behalf bless this body this this bread that symbolizes your body that was bruised beaten and wounded because of your wounds Lord we are healed I pray as we partake of this bread it unifies us as one body of Christ and it will bring healing to our bodies in Jesus name Amen let's partake this together In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. Let's lift up our cups. When this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat the bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your great love to this world, to us. And Jesus, thank you for shedding your blood on the cross of Calvary. Because without the shedding of your blood, there is no remission and forgiveness of our sins. Today we pray that you will bless this grape juice that symbolizes your blood. As we partake this together, thank you, Lord, that all our sins have been forgiven and washed away and cleansed totally. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's partake this all together. Let's continue to worship Him tonight. reaching the end of this service, kapatid, we pray that you receive your personal portion from the Word of God. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and press the bell button beside it for you to be notified every time we post something new here. Connect with the church and be guided personally. Just message us and belong to a cell group. If you've been blessed by this, become a blessing to the ministry as well by planting a seed. You can send through Facebook stars, bank transfer, or via Gcash. Remember, whatever you give to the Lord, He gives back multiple times over. Thank you so much for your life and God bless, kapatid.